I used to have gout. The attacks came just about every month, and they were simply awful. Now, I haven't had an attack for more than two years. I don't think I'll ever have another one ever again. At their worst, those attacks were disabling. I couldn't move. I couldn't go to work. I was literally unable to get up because even the slightest movement of the affected area was beyond unbearable. I couldn't sleep properly with bedclothes, which in cooler weather meant turning the heating up in the house. Not comfortable for my wife, not good for our energy bills. The causes of gout and the real causes of gout. After my first encounter with gout, my doctor gave me the standard explanation of its causes. He said that gout was caused by excess uric acid in the blood. Uric acid is a byproduct of the processing of certain foods. The uric acid comes from the liver as a waste product. It's sent to the kidneys from where it is supposed to be removed from the body. I had gout because, in a nutshell, gout is what you get when your body isn't expelling all its uric acid. The excess uric acid forms tiny spike-shaped crystals. Those crystals get into your bloodstream. From there, they find their way into your joints. And from time to time, the immune system attacks them. And when the immune system does that, the inflammation that results is experienced as a gout attack, also known as excruciating awful pain. If you suffer from gout, then I truly feel for you. I know what you're going through. It's been just over two years now since my final gout attack, but I still remember what it felt like. Anyway, that was the doctor's explanation of gout. So far, so simple. Gout only gets worse. Over the first year or so, my gout attacks went from one attack every one or two months, to monthly, and then occasionally, to every few weeks. I started with the standard meds, anti-inflammatories, steroid jabs, drugs to reduce the uric acid in my blood. Really, despite his best intentions, I think my doctor was simply trying things out. Treatments are offered as much in hope as in the expectation they'll do anything. But even when a drug did do some good, I knew I was just managing the condition. And I realized that for many gout sufferers, this was the case. They could swallow any number of pills, inject as much steroid as their bodies could handle, and avoid every suspect piece of food and drink. The underlying problem, the actual cause of the gout, was still there, creating all sorts of problems for the body to deal with. I followed the typical do's and don'ts. It's typical stuff. Exercise more, lose weight, eat a balanced diet, whatever that is. Eat less red meat. Don't smoke. I never have. Go a couple days a week without alcohol. And it made precisely no difference to my gout at all. Although, to be honest, if I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have bothered with any of that. Asking the awkward questions. My natural curiosity prompted me to ask questions about this disease. If uric acid leads to gout, then why did I suddenly have too much uric acid in my blood? Well, it makes sense that either A, I was suddenly producing too much of it, or B, that my body simply was no longer removing it effectively. And it turns out that the answer is B. In fact, for 90% of gout sufferers, scientists say that it isn't overproduction of uric acid that is the problem. It's the under-processing of it. In other words, something's going wrong with the body's ability to expel uric acid properly. So I was quite puzzled. Here's how I thought about it. There was a time when I hadn't even heard of gout, much less suffered from it. Then I had gout for just over three years. And then, two years ago, I experienced my last ever gout attack and never suffered another one. So, for a number of decades of my life, my body handled the uric acid effectively. Suddenly, it could no longer handle that acid properly, and so I found myself with gout. Fast forward after three years of gout, and once again, everything is fine. I'm gout-free. It doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to work this out. Remember, it's not that I'm producing too much uric acid that's the problem. It's that I'm no longer removing enough of it from my body. So at first, something in my body was working. It was getting rid of the uric acid. Then it stopped working, so I got gout. Then it started working again. The pain disappeared. There was no more flare-ups, and I was completely healthy once more. But there it is. I had gout because something had stopped working. And it's that something that had stopped working that most of our doctors, you can afford to be good to yourself. And you can start saying goodbye to your gout right now. Click on the link and get your own copy of Shelley Manning's The End of Gout. 
Buying her program was the single best thing I ever did for my health. You'll agree, and she guarantees it. So don't put this off. Get your copy of the program below. Nothing makes more sense than this. Shelly Manning's program basically handheld me to health. It walked me from A to Z, which, to be honest, is pretty much what I needed it to do. She attacks the problem at its cause. And the cause is well understood. Your bacteria has depleted and isn't helping dispose of excess uric acid. You've lost too much good, healthy bacteria. So repopulate your gut by feeding it properly. It honestly isn't more complicated than this. Sometimes I can't quite believe my gout is gone. But it is, and it won't be back. Would you like the same for yourself? You can have it. Click the link below, and Shelly's The End of Gout will be with you in about 90 seconds. It will only get better if you make it get better. Don't doubt that your gut health is poor. The bacteria environment in a gout sufferer is basically sick. Friendly, life-enhancing bacteria are in retreat. And their place in your gut is being taken by that steadily increasing number of bacteria that will only do harm. Put that way, you perhaps realize that you don't have gout at all. You actually have a diseased gut. Gout is one of a diseased gut's many possible symptoms. In time, type 2 diabetes, obesity, kidney failure, and some cancers are much more likely because of that same diseased gut. Don't do this to yourself. Do what thousands of ex-gout sufferers have done. We took charge of our gout by taking charge of our health. And by doing that, we not only freed ourselves of that deeply unpleasant condition, we also drastically reduced the chances of catching something even worse. We know that if we don't address disease properly, things tend to get steadily worse, which is the last thing we want. Now, then, is the time to act. Click the link button below and get your copy of 